Hello guys, welcome back to another video. If you're into game development, 3D art, or just love collecting high quality assets for your projects, you're in for a treat. Every two weeks, Epic Games drops three amazing asset packs for free, each loaded with everything you need to take your projects to the next level. From detailed characters to stunning environments, there's something here for everyone. And in this video, I'll break down everything you need to know about these free asset drops. We'll go over what's included, how you can get your hands on them and use them in your projects, and why you definitely don't want to miss out before they're gone. Whether you're crafting a cinematic, developing a game, or just exploring Unreal Engine 5, these assets come in handy. And if you're new here to the channel, my name is Smart Polly. I make all sorts of Unreal Engine news and content. And if you are interested in learning Unreal Engine 5 for game development, I have some exciting news. My Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course bundle now has a 25% off limited time sale. To commemorate the launch of Unreal Engine 5.7, we're having a special 25% off discount. So use code Unreal57 at checkout when you purchase the survival game course bundle. Get access to over 100 hours of learning content between both courses, including included in the single bundle and kickstart your game development journey today. So check it out, link in the description below or head over to my website smartpoly.teachable.com to learn more. And with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So I have the map loaded up here. So let's go ahead and make this full screen. We spawn in and sort of like this forest. And if you look at the overall textures and the lighting, everything has sort of like this gray, dead kind of environment theme. So it kind of reminds me of Elden Ring for some reason. Maybe it's just like the lighting and the overall color of the assets. So we have sort of like the cemetery over here. Okay, we have these detailed leaves. I don't know if you guys can see that. And a couple of different bushes. And over here is the actual cathedral. So it's a pretty big building. And let's continue going up here. So here are the steps. Let's see if we can actually make our way up here. What part of it is actually damaged. So we'll have to run up past that part. Okay, maybe we're not able to actually run up here. The collision looks like it's a bit, collision looks like it's a little bit bugged. So maybe we'll hop out of and play in editor mode. But look how detailed everything is, especially the foliage, even the door. You see it has sort of like this metal pattern. I wonder if this is actually using Nanite on these assets. So if they're just, you know, lower quality, traditional LED quality. Let's go ahead and hit play from here. Okay, so we'll run into the building. And there's a bunch of these bricks on the ground. That's broken down cathedral. Okay, we have a couple of candles though. Still lit over there. So a little bit of lighting. And then we have sort of this stained glass window. Of course, it's cracked open. So yeah, you can make some cool gameplay effect where the player has to climb through there. Or I don't know, you can come up with something but yeah this is what the actual building the outside looks like so it's a pretty decent sized building and the level that it comes with is it has sort of this lake and environment so it comes with this pretty decent landscape some trees and a landscape material let's go ahead and take a look at the assets okay so over here we have all the assets in the scene so down here are the little bricks that we saw the different variations okay we had some of these little cages these are pretty cool the little skeletons Okay, we have some more different assets that were in the building. I honestly didn't see any of these, but these are like the wooden bookshelves, things like that. Okay, we have some cemetery pieces. So little headstones there, a couple of different statues, some of the modular pieces. So things like arches and of course the staircase that I fell through. Over here, we have some more detailed arches. These are really nice. Look at the detail on that. and. Even these ones as well. These ones have like these stained glass. Again, just super detailed assets. And these are coming, you know, during October. So you can use these for like a horror game or something. Some sort of, you know, spooktober game. Okay, over here, we have some more ruins and then some different wall pieces. So these brick pieces are pretty nice as well. Okay. Some of here in the back, we have a little bit of boardwalks and some staircases. And some of the different windows so you can see the broken stained glass windows over here you can see the art that we saw earlier and then in the front here are some of the foliage assets so things like some bushes some dead leaves dead trees as well there's some uh, leaves on the ground pile of leaves and some of the piles of bricks and over here are some of the I don't know, oak trees or something with some vines pretty well detailed and then in the back here we have another couple of different tree variations so yeah let me know what you 
you guys think about this asset pack down in the comments down below. Definitely cool to see that they're including you know, some sort of Halloween themed asset packs this month. Okay, next up we have the advanced asymmetrical multiplayer template. So I've downloaded the demo here, but I also have the project. So we can go ahead and basically this is like a multiplayer game template. So I can enter my name, Smart Collie. Yeah, quick play, join game, options, credits, and exit. So I'm going to do quick play. And it's sort of like this horror game template. So again, it's following the same sort of theme. And you can change the map. Okay, right now we just have one example map. We can add as many players as we want. Looks like we can only pick two minimum, maximum five. You want to use land or no land. And of course, it looks like we have a couple of different options for uh, different killers. So we have alien, clown, and undead, plague. Okay, so we're spawned in this level. It says waiting for players to join. Let's go ahead and see if I can actually boot up another instance of this game. So as a host system, so we have desktop, click join server. We can choose a survivor, click play. And then we have this countdown seconds left to start the game. So we have 10 seconds. Okay, here's the other player. We can you know, run around. No jump. Now we spawn in. So this guy over here is like the survivor. And then on the left, we have the attacker. So now we got to find where this player is at. And I honestly have no idea where they might be at. Okay, so I see myself on the other screen. So we're going to go ahead and try and run closer here. Okay, so see the other player? I'm going to go ahead and run up and try and attack him because we have this little axe. So we go over to this survivor over here and go ahead and do our damage. So we have the simple axe hit attack. You can see the player's health is going down. And let's see what happens when their health reaches zero. Yeah, so for some reason, when their health reaches zero, I guess like the game crashes or something. So I'm not sure what the issue is with that bug. But they do have a nice little options menu here. They do have a little credits. And yeah, that's pretty much the demo. Over here is the actual uh, project. Okay, so here are all the assets. So we have things like the different uh, killers. So here is a blueprint for that. I wonder if there's like a first person a uh, character setup where you can go into first person mode. It looks like that is set up. So we have the different inputs, flashlight, attack, ability, heal, look, and move. I didn't see some of those different controls. But yeah, as you can see, here are all the assets, the user interface, the main menu, all of that. So pretty neat demo. There does seem to be like a little bug, a couple of bugs when you kill the other player. I'm not sure why I get disconnected. But yeah, overall, a pretty neat template gameplay template see i wish that epic would put together more uh, gameplay templates like this one just you know super simple multiplayer templates that have you know the host all the way to the actual game mode and gameplay all set up anyways moving on to the last asset pack we have here the pawn shop system let's just go ahead and hit play over here so we have this pawn shop controls we have backspace to return from menus enter to escape left mouse button to interact on the atm and arrows to navigate to the menu so some basic controls we have a door here that opens to press e we can purchase or sell so let's go ahead and do purchase and we have diamond ring stone from backyard okay so we'll need to get some more money it looks like now i kind of wish they did a better user interface like actual uh, you know, icons and item icons and stuff like that. This seems a little bit simple, but okay. So we got to go over here. Looks like they have a pickup system. Over here is the ATM. So press E to use the ATM. Wow, that is super bright. Sorry for that. So we have deposit, withdrawal, transactions. Go to withdraw. Five hundred bucks. I guess we have zero. So press backspace to return. Do we have any actual money? Okay. So over here is some money. So press E. Now we have seven hundred fifty. Press E over here. We can deposit 500 bucks. Let's click on that. Okay, it's been deposited. Click accept and return. Now let's go to withdraw. Withdraw 500. And now we're back to zero. Okay, so simple ATM system. Let's go over here to the pawn shop and press E. And let's do purchase and purchase this diamond ring. Okay, so now we have a diamond ring. 
press enter. Okay, we have that already purchased. So let's get out of there. And I think we can resell it. So let's press E, sell. And this is our inventory. So we can sell that and it sold that item. So it's kind of a very simple blueprint system here. A very simplified pawn shop system. Sort of like a NPC system where you can sell items. And everything in here is using blueprints. So here are the blueprints, the character. Looks like it has a save game system. So that's pretty nice. And the blueprint actors. So things like the ATM, the door, you can go ahead and check how they've implemented that logic there. Hey, those are pretty much all the free assets for this first half of October. So you can claim them until October the 21st. Let me know what you guys think about these assets down in the comments down below. Which one was your favorite? There's one that stood out to you. And that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.